Hashtags. That's what we're talking about today. Hi, I'm Laurie Hurley, the Social Networking Navigator, and I think we're on day 76 or 77 of my social media summer strategies. Hashtags should be saved for Twitter because they actually serve a purpose on Twitter. If you use a hashtag on Twitter, and I'll give you an example, like SM for social media, um, anybody who wants to find out about social media can click on that hashtag within a tweet and find a whole stream of tweets that have to do with social media. I use it frequently when I'm doing my radio show. However, using a hashtag on Facebook is going to get you absolutely nowhere because that hashtag will take the person absolutely nowhere. So lately I've been seeing lots of cute little hashtag phrases on Facebook, but they don't mean anything. So don't use them on Facebook, okay? Because it's silly. Save them for Twitter. You can also use them on Pinterest. So if you're going to use a hashtag on Pinterest, the kind of the same thing works as it does on Twitter. If you want to hashtag the word cooking or recipes or social media or whatever it is that you want to hashtag, and somebody clicks on it, they will find information that has to do with that word or words that you've decided to hashtag. So this is what a hashtag looks like. And don't use it on Facebook because it's pointless. Okay, and I'm going to do more about hashtags tomorrow. I have a cute little video to show you. Uh, that's it for today. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you again tomorrow.